Hi guys, so I hope all of you are in best phase of your preparation right now. So this is a very important phase because mock season is coming up and these mock tests are very very important for CAT uh, because that's uh, they, uh, it will basically help you to judge your preparation level, your weaknesses, your strength points. So all these things are identified uh, uh, in these mocks only you have to build that mental strength, the so strategy is right. So all these are very important for your CAT. Okay, so that will be built through mocks. So, but basically what happens that suddenly people are preparing nicely and they give a couple of mocks and uh, suddenly they get very less percentile 40 50 percentile and they feel kind of shocked so because thing is that we have to do some good quality questions to increase our thinking level so we cannot prepare only on basic 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 model and then there's a and, 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 and then we go to give mocks actually okay so thoda hame acche se prepare karna padega deeply prepare karna padega and a uh, questions ka level acha rakhna padega Right, so these kind of questions we are doing in series. Mein, a lot of questions will be doing in algebra that will basically help you to increase your thinking level uh, to CAT. Where you are right? So basically, basically these kind of questions we daily class solve daily class. So let me put few questions here also. Okay, so this is the first question, guys. Just read this. Okay, two distinct two-digit numbers P and Q have integral arithmetic mean and geometric mean. A and G respectively such that A can be obtained by interchanging the digits of G and the vice versa and vice versa. Find sum of digits of P plus Q. So they go basically kya hai na, bas do distinct two digit numbers P and Q. Hai. Haan. Aur unka arithmetic mean nikalna hai mujhe. That means basically what I can say that if we have some P and Q are two digit numbers, so for two two digit numbers, their arithmetic mean and geometric mean will also be a two digit number only, right? And moreover, is the second hint is here is also that A can be obtained by interchanging digits of G. So that means G has to be a two-digit number. Okay. Anyhow, for two two-digit numbers, the geometric mean can't be three-digit number, right? Hey na? So wo to unhi ke beech mein lai karega. So arithmetic mean, geometric mean, uh, un do number ke beech mein lai karte. They lie in that somewhere in the middle actually. Okay. Or somewhere in the between. So in the in that case, what I can say that. कि जो भी हमारे पास नंबर्स हैं लेट्स से फॉर पी प्लस क्यू सो नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी कैन से लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ ए हियर ए क्या है मेरा अर्थमेटिक मीन व्हाट इज अर्थमेटिक मीन सो अर्थमेटिक मीन आई कैन से दैट लेट्स दैट दैट टू इट नंबर बी ए बी तो अगर ए बी आपका टू इट नंबर है सो देन ए विल ए विल बी टेन ए प्लस बी है ना सो ए इज द अर्थमेटिक मीन एट इज टेन ए प्लस बी नाउ जी ए एंड जी आर ऑप्टेंड बाई इंटरचेंजिंग डिजिट दैट मीन जी मस्ट बी ऑफ द फॉर्म बी ए है ना वट इज बी ए नाउ B A is 10 B plus A. Now what is also A? A is what? A is the arithmetic mean. That means it is P plus Q by 2. And G is geometric mean. What is geometric mean? Under root P Q. Right. So I can equate these two guys. So P plus Q by 2 equal to 10 A plus B. So I can write here P plus Q by 2 is equal to 10 A plus B. Therefore P plus Q is equal to 20 A plus 2 B. And this is the value I'm supposed to find here. Find the sum of digits of P plus Q. So P plus Q value I need I need to find here. Okay. Also, the second uh, the second one will be here under root PQ. Anna? Now under root PQ is equal to 10B plus A. So under root PQ is equal to 10B plus A. So by squaring both sides, what I'll be getting? PQ is equal to 10B plus A whole square. Okay. So PQ will be equal to what? 10B plus A whole square. Okay. So now this we have P plus Q and we have PQ here. So we we can form an identity. Hey na? So we can form an identity uh, in terms of P plus Q and PQ. So that identity uh, will basically uh, look like this. Dhyan dena. Uh, P plus Q or PQ mein we are trying to build an identity. That is basically um, ye kya hota hai? P minus Q ka whole square is equal to P plus Q ka whole square minus 4 PQ. Hey na? That's an identity with P minus Q, P plus Q and PQ. So we'll try to bring up P minus Q also here because it will kind of subtraction hey na? that will be a kind of constraint in P and Q. Okay. So let's try to solve this guys. P plus Q kya tha? It was 20 A plus 2 B. So 20 A plus 2 B whole square and PQ kitna hai aapka? 10 B plus A whole square. It is 4 into 10 B plus A whole square. Uh, we'll try to solve it. So I'll be getting 400 A is square plus 4b is square uh, 20 into 2 into 2 that is 40 a, a, 80 ab 
so it is actually at ab at ab uh minus 10b square is 100 so again 400b uh, uh 400b square then uh, a is square into 4 is minus 4a square and then for 2ab is for 2 into 10 into 20ab 20 into ab into 4 is 40ab sorry 80ab so 80ab here correct this 80ab 80ab will get cancelled so what i'm left with now 396 a is square minus 396 b square so i can get three nices as common here i'll be getting uh, 396 a is square minus b square okay so with that's the value of p minus q, p minus q whole square i got right okay so now what i can do just solve it further here guys okay so see what i can get here now p minus q should be equal to under root of this hey na? so what is under root of 396 under int and a is square minus b square also under root right so under root a is square minus b square leave negative part because a and b are uh, basically they are uh, two numbers two digit numbers are basically positive values right so leave the negative part now so p minus q is under root negative uh, under root 396 into a square minus b square here now what is 396 so if you solve it is actually uh, 36 into 11 so 396 is equal to 36 into 11 okay and that is equal to 36 ka root is what that is 6 into 6 root 11 so 6 root 11 into under root a square minus b square that's what i got here okay now but i know that if p p and q are two two digit numbers right so if there's if there's two two digit numbers individually their difference will also be an integer that means this whole value has to be an integer okay this whole value has to be an integer right so uh, how we, how we can proceed here is so we can see we can say that if this has to be an integer so p minus q can never be in root right so p minus q can never be in root now if p minus q can never be in root and difference it also it cannot be more than if if i subtract two two digit numbers it result will also be a two digit number only Hana. so now i can simply guess the value of under root a square minus b square here that under root a is square minus b square has to be under root 11 okay because any value apart from root 11 will never make it p minus q as an integer just think of it right dekho kya bol main aapko ye bol raho ki jo aapka yahan pe p minus q hai na ye 6 root 11 into something hai to agar p minus q ki jo value hai wo 6 root 11 into something hai hai na to aapko yahan pe kuch aur multiply karna hai so aapko yahan pe kya multiply karoge ki result will be a two digit number so root 11 hi karoge ki root 11 into root 11 will become 11 and 6 into 11 will become 66 ठीक है और तो कोई नंबर बड़ा सोच नहीं सकते हो कि नंबर क्या हो जाएगा इट विल बी अ थ्री डिजिट नंबर देन राइट इससे बड़ा हो जाएगा सो so, हमें तो रखना है टू डिजिट नंबर में ही ना सो इट शुड बी अ टू डिजिट नंबर एट दैट इन इन दैट केस राइट दैट मींस अंडर रूट a स्क्वायर माइनस b स्क्वायर हैज टू बी रूट 11 दैट मींस a स्क्वायर माइनस b स्क्वायर शुड बी 11 स्क्वायरिंग बोथ साइड इफ a स्क्वायर माइनस b स्क्वायर इज 11 सो वी हैव गॉट ओनली a माइनस b इनटू a प्लस b इज 11 है ना so I can write that a a a plus b it is this should be eleven is a product of two numbers right should be eleven into one so eleven into one means a plus b should be eleven and a minus b should be one so a plus b is eleven a minus b is one uh, sorry a minus b is one that means if I add it I'll be getting a is equal to six b equal to five. So what I'm supposed what I was supposed to find I was supposed to find the sum of digits of p plus q. This I'll plug in here. Okay. So now this this becomes what this becomes twenty into six plus two into uh correct no twenty into six plus two into five that is equal to one thirty. So therefore p, that means p plus q will be equal to one thirty. I needed sum of digits of p plus q. That is one plus three plus zero. So sum of dates four is the answer for this question. So a lot of concepts in this question, right? Okay, very good question. 
and the, basically this was a key step here you need to analyze that if p and q are two distinct two digit numbers the difference will also be a two digit number okay so only root 11 can put here just think over it right if you cannot get it just think over it और क्या रखें पहला बताओ six root eleven अब यहाँ पे क्या multiply करूँ कि वो वहाँ पे root eleven हट जाए है ना तो root eleven multiply करो घटाने के लिए आप right because root eleven into root eleven should be root only eleven and then only it will become integer root हट जाएगा है ना so that means four is the answer for this question okay hi everyone so we have this combat test on twenty ninth of May at twelve pm so keep giving these small tests uh, uh, if you have not completed your syllabus uh, even 80% or 70% so I don't uh, uh, recommend giving any full length mocks but these small tests of 30 questions will will really help you, uh, help you a lot that will be for like your preparation check how's your preparation going on in which questions you are feeling comfortable in actual timings in which questions you are not feeling comfortable so it's basically a good test for all of you and this will be 30 new questions, unique questions. You won't find these questions anywhere. Okay. And it's a 60 minutes test. Uh, uh, of course, a lot of prizes are there to be won. So that's fine. Okay. That's another motivation. Also, many people get uh, scholarships also. Okay. So this is uh, more than hundreds of hundreds of people get a scholarship in this on plus subscription. So you can give this test on May 29 at 12 p.m. And if they ask for any code, you can use my code Ravi Roda there. Okay. So that's absolutely free of cost. Okay. So you can give this test at 29th of May at 12 p.m. Yeah. Thank you.